Hello and uh, welcome to um, my first video and uh, this is going back quite some time now and this is going all the way back to September, uh, September the 20th uh, when I actually first left Miami Beach uh, on my way to uh, Tarpon Springs which was my first leg. Um, originally my idea was to ship my motorbike from Miami to LA and then start the journey there because Florida and the you know the first few uh, first few states are all pretty boring and there's not many options to get off the, the highway to actually get anywhere um, you know you basically have no options in, in Florida it's all uh, it's all toll roads and uh, private roads and uh, qu quite painful um, riding I mean Miami Beach is fantastic and going over the bridges and and that the Everglades Although the roads are pretty boring, there are places to stop off and see. And here you can see uh, me leaving home for the first time fully loaded with a ridiculous load on me. Um, uh, the thing about it is when you first set out, you you get all your stuff and you think, oh, I, I might need this, I might need that, I'll need a backup of this, I'll need a backup of that. But the reality is, is you, you, you basically end up just refining your uh, what you what, and keeping only what you need um, and um, and really I basically shed about by the end of the trip I'd taken about 25 kilos off the amount of stuff that I'd taken I mean I had every luxury you can think of right now but my big problem was getting on and off the bike um, if my foot caught on anything uh, the bike would, would topple over it didn't happen but it was going to. And as you can see, I've got two ram mounts. I don't know if you can see. Um, you know, the thing is, I also, the other problem I had is the camera was pointing down, um, as you can see. Um, and that happened for the first few days because I didn't get a chance to look at my footage the first, first few days because uh, my plan was to get the hell out of Florida because I'd ridden, I'd driven through Florida, ridden through Florida before. And it's, uh, you know, have, is, look, you, you can see the gear there. Uh, I've got a bag in the middle on the back there, just too much. Um, and um, basically, before I'd gotten out of Florida, I think before I got out of Florida, I'd actually, I'd actually reduced, just got rid of all the extra stuff, uh, all the things that I thought I might need, and I actually just posted them back to Miami. Or I, um, in the cases of stuff that was really heavy, it was just going to be just about expensive to send back as it was to uh, throw out. Um, uh, to, to buy again, I should say. Um, I actually uh, just got, I was at a hotel and I was unpacking and there was a guy who was doing work on the hotel and I just gave him a heap of stuff, um, you know, like uh, extra chain. Um, and, he, and you can see again here, I, I'm pretty sure I'm getting a fair way out of Florida here now. Um, and this is still in Miami, just getting out of Miami. Um, and you'll see by the roads, you know, th this is not too bad here. Uh, the problem in Florida is that lanes aren't that wide and uh, and everybody's in a rush, you know. Um, so it becomes quite painful quite quickly. Um, so basically, I'll go back to my first mistake I made. So the night before the, the, I packed everything, I was, you know, a little bit nervous. You know, I'm working as well, so making sure I had everything for work everything charged up and then basically at about 10 o'clock at night um, uh, about uh, 8 o'clock at night sorry I packed everything and everything was ready to go okay and then my, one of my mates said oh you want to have a hit of tennis uh, before and I thought oh, I'll why not so we had a tennis and um, in my tank bag I took my wallet out and uh, ended up leaving my wallet in my tennis bag and thinking the next day I've got everything I need and I don't need to pack anything, have a shower, get get my uh, get the bike set up and and packed. And I got about half an hour out of Miami and um, and realised I didn't have my wallet. So that was excruciatingly painful. You know? <laughs> I was thinking of everything on the side of the road. Maybe I can just fly it out, courier it to me. And then I just realised no, my my plan to get out of Miami was. Uh, was basically uh, too strong, so I, 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 I had too many just one what uh, ride riding uh, too much riding to do, and you know the the post was never going to catch up with me. So um, you know from from that time on, um, I basically uh, decided just to 
take, go back, get the wallet, and get back on the road again. So, um, I'm sorry I'm getting all these friggin' messages. Uh, Jesus, let, let me, give me a break with. Um, yeah, so, basically, uh, I'm, um, I'm, you know, the first few days is just getting out of Dodge, so I decided that um, do the long roads and uh, and do the 10 hours and, and so the first day I basically got to Tarpon Springs, stayed in a motel, again learned a lesson when you book a motel, a cheap little ass motel, make sure you get it on the first floor, um, make sure you get, you know, so you can actually ride your bike up and pack your bike. I ended up being on the second floor of a motel and then had to walk all my bags up around the back and, and so much junk to do. Um, so you learn everything fairly quickly. Uh, and uh, there's a little selfie. Um, so yeah, the first few days was just getting accustomed to to the, the conditions. The heat was pretty extreme and when you got all the climb gear on, and uh, it can be pretty sweaty, especially when you go through towns and you've got to do a fair bit of stops. And this was my last stop before, uh, before I uh, got to Tarpon Springs. And it was a pretty boring, uh, boring first days right and uh, as you can see the camera angle is pretty terrible and I don't fix that for a while and the microphone wasn't working um, so I learned a few, I learned a few few things and while I'm talking away on the microphone on the bike it's not actually coming through so uh, yeah so learned a few things the first the first day it was a pretty tough day's ride very hot and uh, I'm just having a bit of a break here before I get in to get to the motel so yeah uh, any questions or comments, leave below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.